made you angry, girl. Just know that it get better over time. Best kept secret. They say time is. She can't see her life without me. She's so plastic. up y'all welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you all how to do a high ponytail i already flat ironed my hair prior to doing this video but today's products are going to be beeswax by murray's and then i got some spritz and then some tresemme shine spray but it's like a spritz hold so i got two forms of that but first you just want to comb your hair out and make sure everything is even and then you're going to pull those edges out now i'm kind of like brushing my hair up into a ponytail just to get a flat foundation the next thing we're gonna do is pull out our edges and you can pull out as many edges as you want but I usually do the same type of foundation for my edges so I just pull out the two on the side and then the sideburns after pulling those out we're gonna go ahead and secure them with the rubber band just so they don't get in the way when we're holding our hair down I usually do not blow dry my beeswax but the black can is way thicker than the yellow can so go ahead and sit that blow dryer on there for a minute you don't want it too drippy you just want it a little bit tacky so you don't have to do this part i only put the beeswax on the perimeter of the front of my head because i just wanted my hair to lay down a little flat because my hair is more coarse but you're going to go ahead and tighten your ponytail again and then we're going to start spraying it with our got to be spray now, the only reason I retighten my ponytail is because you want to make sure your ponytail is real tight and flat before you spray it. Because once you blow dry the spray down, it's no going back. I be on your line, feelings flowing like a river. You be texting back, you and Kiki on the river. Message say the liver, but I know that y'all don't get it. Why you introduce us if you knew that you was with him? Made me shake his hand, we got the fuck up for a minute. Walk me off the plane because you know that I'm a swimmer. Supposed to be a dog, but you don't put me in a kennel. Girl, put a muscle on it, all that barking over dinner. I was fucking with you when you had a tiny presidential. You got better when you met me, and that ain't coincidental. Tried to bring the best out, you guess I'm not that influential. Guess I'm not the one that's mad for you. I can hear the tears when they drop over the phone. Get mad at myself, cause I can't be alone. Gossip and messages that ain't what we doing. Yeah. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our scrunchie out and we are going to replace it with a rubber band. 
Now, I did only show y'all one rubber band. I eventually went back in and added another one. Just because that's how I like it. I need my hair really tight. And this was going to be around Thanksgiving. So, I really wanted to secure it because them kids be pulling my hair. And I don't got time for no ponytail to be falling out. But you need to wrap it as many times as you would please. Now, you don't want to make the rubber band too tight. Because we are still going to add the ponytail hair in. And once you actually start wrapping the ponytail hair, it's definitely going to get tighter. After, I just give it a little pull just to secure the ponytail. Next thing I'm doing is I'm going back in with this beeswax. And I'm just going to push up the flyaways that were still sticking up. Because the got to be isn't going to secure everything down just by itself. So I just go in with only a little bit of beeswax. After that, you want to softly take the revenge off of your edges just to release the tension we're not about to do them right now but i don't like keeping rubber bands over my edges the whole time so so to secure the ponytail i braid my real hair and this is an extended ponytail so i am gonna braid my hair all the way down but if you do not want an extended ponytail you could just braid your hair and then you will wrap your real hair in a bun and secure it with a few rubber bands but since this is extended you want to take the end of your braid and fold it up and, and secure it with the rubber band just so the bottom of the braid won't be thin now here's the fun part you're going to take a neck strip and you are going to wrap it i start by placing it on the top of my ponytail and wrapping it underneath to the right and over to the left now this is i don't know if this is because i'm right-handed or what but whatever makes you feel more comfortable you can do but this is just the method that i do but you're going to keep wrapping this until you get all the way to the top once you are at the top make sure you secure it really 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 tight and like i said this is going to add a little more tightness in the ponytail but that last piece i just put a little bit of glue on and then i wrap it around the rubber bands to secure now for the ponytail hair you know it comes like in one bundle but they come folded up leave it folded and the two ends that are open you are going to glue those together now i didn't really show it so it's probably kind of hard to explain but literally keep it folded in the last two pieces that are together but not like attached glue them with the glue after that dries you want to add a little bit of glue to your neck strip and then we are going to start wrapping the same way i wrapped my neck strip so i'm starting by placing the track on top of my hair wrapping it underneath to the right and over the top to the left side and then you are going to keep repeating this method you might have to add some glue more than once but starting the ponytail is really the hardest part and i barely could show y'all because i was trying to see what i was doing but I just keep adding the glue and you're just gonna keep wrapping your hair around. Y'all, please don't mind my face shoes. It was like three in the morning and I was super tired. I was born to shoot, I got aim, 
I'm like Johnny Day, winning color change. Throw out one in his arm, hit one in his tie. There's no lie, bitches do it. But after you get your ponytail wrapped, you are going to softly comb your hair out. Now, I had this hair sitting outside the pack for like three or four months, so it was really tangled. But after that, you're going to grab a piece from the bottom of the ponytail. And you're going to make sure that you really have that combed out because you don't want it messy because this is what we're about to use to wrap around the tracks to hide them. So I kind of took too much hair, so I'm just separating it. You could do it to your preference, but I like like a regular amount. Some people like a thicker amount to make it look like a Barbie pony. I'm just going to use a regular amount of hair. And I usually would recommend a rack tail to comb it out. Just because as y'all can see, I just combed it, but it's nappy when I use the rack tail. But you're going to take some glue and you're going to apply it to the tracks. And then you are going to start wrapping your hair. I wrap my hair over to the right and then under to the left. And every time I lay a piece of hair down, I always make sure I comb it out again. Just because you really do not want this part nappy. And I add track glue and spritz to mine. But if you have color hair and you decide to add track glue... You're going to see at the end that you can see my track glue through the color. But that didn't really bother me just because this hairstyle was just for the weekend. But I just want y'all to be mindful of that. When I finished wrapping, I just made sure it's secure by spraying some spritz on there and just brushing it with my finger. And then you are going to want to blow dry this for at least two or three minutes. And while I'm blow drying, I kind of squeeze it with my fingers too, just to make sure everything is laid down and that the glue is actually drying. Y'all know the routine. I'm gonna finish this tomorrow. <clears throat> it's four o'clock in the morning. I'm so tired. I'm gonna do my edges and stuff in the morning. So I'm gonna see y'all in the morning. Okay, y'all, it's the second day. Well, it's the next morning, I should say. First thing that I'm gonna do is take off this hair scarf. And don't be scared, your edge is gonna be everywhere, but as long as you comb them out, they're gonna go right back to how they were yesterday. I am gonna go in with a hot comb again because, like I said, my hair is very thick and it likes to play with me. So I just like to make sure my stuff is bone straight. Now be mindful of heat damage. I'm pretty sure I got heat damage, but we vibing, okay? But I take my mini for irons because I like a more fluffy kind of edge look. I'm gonna flat iron my hair and curl it towards my face so you can do this if you want the fluffy curly type of look i need you yeah i really do tell me what to do okay tell me what to do okay tell me what to do all i know is hit the mall see what damage i could do okay deep down i think about you all day mommy i know i'm a pit bull but darling mommy i just want to take you on a holiday mommy say what's on your mind i'ma call away mommy come and rescue me Take me out the club. 
offer. Take me out the trap. Take me off the mark. Take me off the map. I'm tryna hit the group chat and tell them it's a come and rescue me. Take me out the club. Take me out the trap. Take me off the market. Take me off the map. I'm tryna hit the group chat and tell them it's all. I don't really know how to confess my love. Really seem like I wanna tell. I did leave some back edges out, so that's what I'm doing. I'm laying my edges down in the back. Y'all, the back part is so hard. Like, I had to keep getting my mirror and looking through my hand mirror to see if it was the way I liked it. I need you, yeah, I really do. Tell me what to do. And y'all, these edges are so freaking cute. Like, they don't look too stuck. I like them fluffy. They are not laid down. Like, some hairs are sticking up just a tiny bit. But that's the way that I like my edges. This next step you do not have to do, but I don't like my hair to be one length. So I definitely get my eyebrow razor and I cut some of it just to make it look a little bit layered. Now, you do not have to do this. And if you do it wrong, it will mess your hair up. And as you can see, my hair is a little messed up. But I got some hair shine gel and I just rubbed my hands together. And I put it on the base of my hair. Do not put it on your ponytail because... If you have a greasy looking ponytail and it's synthetic hair, it's not going to look right when it starts getting old. But this is called a hair polisher. If you guys want to go purchase it, they have it on Amazon. It gives your hair like a really finished look. And I just love how my hair look with it. Take me out the club. Take me out the trap. Take me off the market. Take me off the mat. I'm trying to hit the group chat. Tell them it's all but this is the final look y'all as y'all can see the polisher gave it a silky finishing look it does not look dry it looks very healthy and the ponytail is so full and i'm honestly in love with it Okay, guys, this is the end of this video. I really hope you liked and enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Make sure you comment and subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch y'all in my next video.